Um, next is Ned Sahin with Brain Power. We'll start with a video. Charm Jack. Bang. I've never seen Jack's eye gaze be as intent and focused as they have been wearing those glasses in his entire 18 years of life. We're here at MIT, so let's take a lesson from MIT's motto, mens et manus. It can remind us that we must use both our minds and our hands to impact society. And yesterday, Michael uh, reminded us, and I think Jeff Ling basically yelled at us, to <laughs> tell us to get innovations through that phase of laboratory science and out into the real world. So I'm um, quite honored to be here at Brain Mind. Thank you, Michael and, and team. And I'm proud to be able to share one example of actually taking laboratory science out into the real world for a mental health uh, use case. I've had the, the ability and luck to take the science that I learned here on this campus through lab science, uh, R&D phases, and clinical trials, and many valleys of death, and there were many, to the product stage and now with, with real customers uh, out there, and I mean out there, like we can see the towns where they're using them from these windows, um, and, and in 10 other countries. Our question for the hive mind, for the flywheel here, is how can we now extend to more schools, to thousands of school districts? But that's the question I'm gonna ask for your help. First, I probably have to convince you that we're worth helping, so let's go. A note about my background, oh, and also, this URL, please, I know they have a URL, the bit.ly, but uh, if you just want to open this on your phone and without interrupting the next speaker, maybe later after the sessions, you could go. There's a small web form, and I'd love your feedback. Thanks. A little bit about my background. So I did my undergrad at Williams College, and then uh, some time at Oxford, lived in England and Ireland for a while, and then did a master's here at MIT, PhD at Harvard, and then postdocs at UCSD in Salk. In short, I stayed in school too long. <laughs> we heard from Nancy Canosher yesterday about intracranial recordings. About 10 years ago, I published this paper using intracranial recordings as well as fMRI to show that time and not space separated three very different cognitive functions inside language. We heard from Li Wei Sai about neural rhythms, oscillatory dynamics in the brain. Uh, in 2014, published this paper showing basically a connection between each stereotypical oscillatory rhythm and the underlying low-level circuit motifs, as well as high-level computations. Uh, I was also PI on several federal grants, so I was tracking towards academia, but then I took off, traveled around the world for a year with no phone, and landed back here at MIT with this urgent desire to build an actual product that could help people in their daily lives. And I was inspired at a seminar at MIT to launch Brain Power to help people with autism and then later ADHD. We've all heard the stats. Autism, it's huge and growing. I won't belabor that. The key challenge in autism is social emotional skills. Each person is unique on the spectrum, but many struggle with eye contact and recognizing emotions, emotional literacy, um, transitions to new uh, environments, and attention, focus, hyperactivity, impulsivity. So it's for these skills and not autism with some capital A that I've invented the Empowered Brain suite of apps, which are apps that run on Google Glass. And yes, Google Glass still exists. It's not dead. I had the pleasure of talking to Eric Schmidt yesterday, and he was happy that we are using it. And uh, it's gone through different versions, and we're a licensed uh, reseller for Google, so we get them before they come out. So yes, it exists. And one more important thing about it for children is it's not breakable. I mean, it could be broken, but it's, thank you. It's not as the name Glass uh, suggests. So I wish he would look at me. 
says mom, says parent, says teacher, says would-be employer, says would-be uh, romantic partner. And it seems like such a simple social grace, eye contact, but in fact, without it, we may be held at bay from that social partnership, that romantic partnership, or that job. Face-to-face uh, -face is an app. It gives points for looking at someone. Our AI, tra AI tracks the face. I get small points that are rapid. It builds confidence. And delayed gratification to achievements and awards, um, and so on. She just can't really understand when I'm upset, says that potential romantic partner or job interviewer. <coughs> This app, I look through it. The AI from Affectiva, Roz Picard spoke yesterday, um, digests the face for me, and I get a forced choice, happy or surprised. And if I perform that well, I also get prompts from the other person, like, yeah, I'm happy. What do you think makes me happy? And that's for high functioning, for low functioning, squeeze my hand if you're happy, et cetera. It takes them a long time to adjust to new places. So transitions are difficult, whether to a new classroom or to Walmart, we give them a 360 environment to explore, a digital scavenger hunt, points for exploring, and measure signs of stress in all these games, like blink rate and breathing and so forth. We've tested this. We've been in the media. We've gone through um, clinical trials. And for each of the questions you might ask, like, is it safe? Will autistic people wear it? We have IRB-supervised clinical research. And will they use it? Will it improve their autism, et cetera? We were able to market this. That was the other type of research we needed to do. Would it sell? We went to schools, and we've shown efficacy in schools. Can it work in the real world? Short answer, yes. Does it generalize? Short answer, yes. Do teachers love it? Yes. ADHD, symptomatology reduction. All these papers are on the website. Um, will schools buy it? Luckily, yes. No school has said no to us, but it's hard to get in touch with superintendents, and so that is our question for you, is how best to do that. Um, I'll end on one very brief video, and so you don't have to take our word for whether this actually has an impact. Oh, Why? <laughs> Just when you look at me. It makes me think we haven't really before, because we're looking at major really. So that's impact. And please, if you have time, just go to this little URL and give us some information. Thank you so much.